Hi there, I'm Amy Kliewitz and welcome to The Wedding Common, a creative network for all things weddings. Wedding photographers are one of the most important vendors for your wedding. Finding the right wedding photographer is important as they're going to capture long-lasting memories on your special day. Now, while you should absolutely live in the moments as they happen and just truly enjoy your wedding, when all is said and done, you're gonna be looking at those photos for a lifetime. So it's important to hire a professional wedding photographer who knows how to take the best wedding photos. There are lots of ways of finding a wedding photographer and lots of questions to ask them. So fortunately, you've come to the right place as I'm gonna ask them all for you. <laughs> so joining us today is Tatiana Valerie, owner of Art Vesta Studio. I am so excited about this episode because it's our own Tatiana who helps produce this show. Welcome, thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited to talk wedding photography. I'm so excited to be here today. Yeah, tell us a little bit about Art Vesta Studio, how long you've been around. Uh, absolutely. Art Vesta Studio is a media production company located in New York City. We've specialized in weddings and events uh, for the past 16 years. It's a long time. It's a long so time. You, you've probably seen it all. We've all seen it all. I've, we've seen a lot, <laughs> yes, we've seen a lot, but you know what, I enjoy every minute of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what do you feel like makes a good wedding photographer? I believe that a good wedding photographer has to have first and foremost artistic talent Yeah. because without that you're just a person with a camera who captures the flow <laughs> of the day. That's very true, you know, especially with the, all the cam camera phones these days, everyone thinks they're a photographer. Exactly. Which, no offense, so do I, but we, you know, obviously <laughs> I am not a professional photographer, I am not trained in this, so okay, that's really important, that's yeah. definitely one good quality. Because I think um, a good wedding photographer has to have that quality when they anticipate and feel the right moment and they know how to capture. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a second before or a second after is too early or too late. It needs to be that perfect moment. Right. The technical skills that a wedding photographer has, they help to capture that moment perfectly in perfect light, in perfect composition. Because it's not just like any other photography, right? Right, absolutely. Weddings are very emotional uh -huh. and my goal is to capture a wedding in a sense that uh, when the couple looks at their wedding pictures, mm -hmm. they relive their wedding day. They get immersed into those feelings, into I those <laughs> moments, they feel it, and I want them to even maybe, you know, shed a tear because they get emotional. So this I is want- so, This is so <laughs> silly because I just got chills and I've known Tatiana a really long time and I've actually, <laughs> I haven't heard this before, but that's really beautiful. That will be your paparazzi for the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and, and I kind of need to know with the dynamic of your family, of you and your significant so, other, so yeah. I could capture the precise moments that are important for you yeah. and then make you who you are. Great. Yeah. So those, uh, I guess, artistic talent, technical skills, um, and very, very important. I think project management skills are so important because, oh, <laughs> right? Yes. Weddings are very structured. Behind all the ruffles and emotions um, of a wedding day, uh, there is a very strict timeline, actually, yeah. where the couple needs to be ready by a certain time. The ceremony starts at a certain time. Sometimes weddings run a little bit behind, and it is it is completely my job to not let you feel that stress uh -huh. of being behind, running behind. I think that planning mm -hmm. is everything. Mm -hmm. Your job is just to enjoy yourself, enjoy your day. And my job is to capture all the pictures that we planned, yeah. uh, which is which is also very important. So um, a good, good project management skills are a must for a wedding photographer. And uh, number four, I would say people skills. Mm -hmm. The bride and groom or the couple need to be, it's all about them. It's yeah. their day. Yeah, absolutely. And I need to be their shadow and it's my job to figure out how to take the best shots and to stay out of your way and to make everyone feel comfortable, including my crew. Yeah. But get those special shots anyway, regardless. Great. So if you like a photographer's style, reach out to them via email, send a question about their availability, um, what you're looking for, what should the initial email mm -hmm. include? Well, I would say uh, your venue because it depends how, how far the travel needs to be. It is important. Uh, the date, time, how many guests. Um, I mean, it, it helps. It's not crucial, but it helps to know how big the wedding is, mm -hmm. where it's taking place and when. 
Um, so basically, yeah, all those. Do you like mm -hmm. to know uh, at that point their vision for the day? Do you ask them to send you inspiration or do you do that later once you've met the couple? Definitely later okay. when we had at least an initial conversation, uh, phone conversation because we just, first of all, I want to know that we are a good fit for each other. Mm -hmm. Um, a couple on both ends on both <laughs> ends right exactly yeah and ju I just want to make sure that I can deliver the best possible service and product for the couple so then they've reached out via email um, let's say they're like okay Tatiana is great then you set up an interview right where you actually meet in person or absolutely or Sky or, you know FaceTime mm -hmm. or how does that work usually? Right. well I've done both but I love when um, a couple wants to meet up in person I have a studio space in in the city sometimes all a couple cares about is just wedding portraits so mm -hmm. i guess they could definitely look at the photographer's wedding portraits and as long as they're satisfied with those mm -hmm. uh, they're good, good to go yeah. but um for me personally for my wedding i would love to see a full gallery with a photographer capturing emotions of the first look ceremony reception mm -hmm. of all those behind the scenes little moments maybe um, a random tear on, on your mom's face yeah something yeah. that you know comes also, and goes in, yeah. in spite of a moment also technically you want to be looking at like are there photos all just photoshops you know or is it is the lighting good and are they in in focus right you know things like so you want to look at the emotion they're capturing but you also mm -hmm. want to look at like a technical aspect of the the photographer uh to me it goes without saying that pictures need to be sharp in good light that yeah. just not <laughs> that's beyond camera phone. all the all the <laughs> basics yes pictures need to be well framed well lit sharp um creative I'm jumping around a little bit too, but on that note, um, most photographers can capture multiple styles, right? They can mm -hmm. capture the portrait style, they can capture like the journalistic style. Um, you know, they, they can do multiple things, am mm -hmm. I right? Absolutely. If there's something specific you're looking for, but you want, I want to, you know, a very posed look for my family, but I want journalistic for something else. Can you talk to that a little bit? Yes, and I think it's a very good point to discuss with your photographer because some photographers are totally fine with mixing those styles and some photographers have their own set way of doing things. So yeah. um, some photographers would insist on posing the couple and the families just to make sure that all pictures look perfect to their liking but um, there are photographers who are flexible and they would probably pose such as myself as a photographer I would pose your families and and make sure that everyone looks good in the pictures because you know after all um, they're not professional models they don't really know what looks good yeah. and it's my job to be your mirror some people actually don't know that, that part of a photographer's job is actually knowing how to pose people. Because like you said, yes, we're not all professional models and know the right angles and the camera and whatever. Instagram doesn't count. Right. <laughs> you know? right. So um, that is important with working photographer, seeing their composition of how they pose people. Yes, absolutely. And I, and I think that uh, especially during that family photo session segment, guests and family members do need a little bit of guidance from a mm -hmm. photographer just to make sure that everything moves quickly smoothly and everyone looks their best um, but i love capturing a couple's emotions so i may start with posing just a little tiny bit and then we would just go from there the couple i would love to capture couples natural interactions but first i will make sure that they look good the pose itself looks good and then we kind of go, take, from there. go from there yeah. exactly and capture natural flow that's that's how I get both the best of both worlds so you've emailed you've met they you know they're like oh my god I love Tatiana's work now you got to see if you guys mesh right so we're back to this topic so talk to me a little bit about just having being able to mesh with with your photographer and their personalities absolutely and that's why um, I love having you over in my studio just to show you around show you more of my work and make sure that we connect our personalities connect well because um, I will be with you pretty much whole all day. day all all day night. yeah I will be with you all day and all night not even your mom and dad will be with you as much as I will be by your side mm -hmm. you are the shadow exactly so you need to make sure that you are comfortable with me 
and um, I, I need to make yeah. sure that I know enough about you. You need to hire a photographer who has is very aware of social graces, uh, but is aggressive enough to capture those moments and get in there without annoying everyone, <laughs> right? Absolutely. Um, I know from my own experience, being a hair and makeup artist, I the photographer comes in after me as the order of the day, and I am on my own time schedule trying to get everyone done, and the photographer comes in like it's their wedding. And I have had brides come back to me after that and say, oh my God, that photographer was just in my face the whole time. He wouldn't, you know, like, he was actually disturbing to the, you know, he was annoying people. So this is full circle. It's important to mesh. Some people may like that. They right, want a big exactly. personality photographer. Absolutely. Um, so Absolutely. it's just a matter of style. Yeah, exactly. And research. And that's why it's very important to meet your photographer yep. before you actually book, um, be, before you book them. Be, even, even a Zoom conversation, I think, will give you a pretty good idea about what that photographer's working style is. Um, I think that's the key, what their working style is. Right, That's the right. way of putting it. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm happy to say that I'm experienced enough that I don't have to be right in your face to capture that shot. <laughs> Good <laughs> so, point. So I can anticipate every moment without being where you don't want me to be. So I will be a fly on the wall most of the time. Um, but it's all about experience. Um, and experience. knowing when to jump in there, knowing exactly. when to capture those moments. Absolutely, knowing when and knowing how to capture those moments and get out of people's way uh, as fast and letting as possible. The, yeah, and letting you enjoy your wedding, right? That's, that's the key, absolutely. My philosophy is um, that it's the couple's day and they have to enjoy their day. And it's my job to serve them on their, on their day to capture their precious memories and to be as intrusive and quiet as possible, but still capture the moments. Yeah, there should be like a natural flow, right? A natural harmony between your photographer or your most your vendors. I always prefer to have one or two in-person or Zoom conversations with my clients just to uh, make sure that we go over their wedding day timeline and their picture list. Um, so that those two overlap and we have great opportunities for a natural, easy flow. Mm -hmm. We have enough time for every single segment and we know what pictures or what pictures need to be taken. We know what who needs to be in those pictures, especially family pictures. We don't want to miss any family members. Yeah. That's why we need to discuss it before the wedding so that you don't have to worry about it at all on the wedding day. So the next thing, can you talk to us a little bit, just a general guide of what wedding photography costs? I think I read a statistic that it can cost anywhere from $2,500 to $15,000 for a wedding package. And more. Oh my God, there are a million dollar photographers. It goes photographers. up from there, right? It goes up from there, yep. Um, well, I would say that professional wedding photography starts at around $1,500. That was my starting point long, long, long time ago. As a beginner photographer. <laughs> As a beginner yeah, photographer. Yeah, that makes sense. After I've shot only just a few weddings and assisted uh, on just a few weddings, my first package was $1,500. And it goes up from there. I would say a, a decent professional photographer who has at least five years of experience would probably charge around $5,000. Okay, as um, an average. Yeah, as an yeah. average. My packages start at $4,300 and go up to $11,500. What if you're a couple that has a limited photography budget? Can you still get photos? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, on any budget, you should be able to get great wedding pictures and I will tell you how to approach it. It mm -hmm. may sound a little bit counterintuitive, but bear with me. It, may be, it may be tempting to look for a photographer who offers the most in their wedding packages, but um, think about it this way. Will you get the quality that you deserve mm -hmm. in that um, in that particular package. Hire the most talented photographer you can afford, ask them for digital high resolution files, and you can get the same printed images a year from your wedding day. And you can call that photographer even two years after your wedding day and ask them for an album, and they will be happy um, to sell you a beautifully made wedding album.
So you don't have yeah. to stress stress out in, in you financially. Don't have to financially, in yeah. front. right? Got it. But as long as you have those images, absolutely, you images, can afford it later. Digital images, quality digital images is key. That's important. That's yeah. that's really interesting because I actually would not have thought of it. You're right. That does sound slightly counterintuitive. But, right. Uh, yes, the whole idea is like you know those moments aren't going to really happen. <laughs> absolutely. So get the quality right right off the bat. Absolutely. Um, so. Should wedding couples ask for raw files? Should they be, what, what is included with usually what a wedding photographer gives? So asking your wedding photographer for high resolution images, just JPEG, high resolution edited images would be fair because you want to print your own pictures as many as you want, whatever you want. Um, but some photographers don't like delivering those high resolution files. They may offer you lower resolution files. Uh, because they, they want to say they, they want to sell prints okay. because to 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 print um, even a five by seven you got to have a good quality high resolution um, okay. original image yeah. so sometimes some photographers would not release those because they want to charge um, a couple for extra prints uh, but I say it depends it depends how you negotiate with your photographer. But asking for raw files, I don't think is fair because you don't go to your favorite restaurant. Think about your wedding photographer as your favorite restaurant. You don't go to your favorite restaurant and ask them for uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, you know, the ingredients that were used in your salad uh. because you go there to enjoy uh, the meal, the special recipe that that restaurant uses uh, to convert those uh, ingredients, simple ingredients into a wonderful, delicious meal. So that's, that's what we do. All photographers use similar equipment and similar formats, but we all create our own art. And that art happens in post-production. Right. So magic happens in editing. And that's why so many photographers are resistant to give out their raw files. Yeah. That's great. So it's something to ask, right? Like what what's included in this package as of what you're giving me and the format. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Got it. That was such a great analogy. Actually, I've <laughs> never I've never thought about that, but that's completely what it is. It's like you're taking the art out of you know, out of the photography, basically. Right. Right. By exactly. Raw, by wanting all the raw files. Exactly. Now, uh, do you go do you Photoshop all your? This is another misconception. Some brides think you Photoshop all the photos. Mm -hmm. Do you? So, um, unfortunately, we interchange Photoshop and edit. In order to edit... Two different things. Absolutely. In order to edit, I can use different pieces of software. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. So it's two different things. People also don't realize that editing is going through all those photos and getting rid of the ones with, you know, the eyes closed or yes, something. Yes, it's called cooling. So there's a, yes, yes. Yeah. So the difference between like t retouching mm -hmm. or Photoshop and like actually editing. Yes. Right. Absolutely. So the very first stage would be just getting rid of all the closed eyes uh, pictures. They rarely happen, but they do happen. Yeah. Since especially if you're journalistic style. Exactly. Someone's gonna be there with a weird face. Absolutely. <laughs> That's usually me. <laughs> well, those pictures need to go, so you don't have to worry about that. That's why I'm in no albums. <laughs> Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, all the bad pictures gone. Okay, that's the very first stage of editing. Second stage is batch editing, meaning uh, we adjust light, we make certain parts lighter, certain parts darker, because um, when I shoot, I don't want to get too technical, but sometimes when I shoot, I shoot for certain conditions, knowing what I can do in post-production to enhance oh, that great. image. Yeah. So raw file may look dark, but it's not going to be dark because I'm shooting uh, darker just to preserve information in pixels in uh -huh. order to uh, edit it in post-production. Got it. So that would be second stage. And third stage is Photoshop. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, it depends, but Photoshop is not used for batch editing. You cannot edit a thousand pictures in Photoshop or, yeah. or it will take probably three years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah then so, you'll never get your photos. Exactly. <laughs> but you usually end up retouching a few as part of the package, right? Yes, is absolutely. That, okay. Absolutely. Just so there's an expectation right. for, for wedding couples. Right, absolutely. I don't want pictures to look too artificial. I, it's not my style, but if there is a 
pimple that the bride wants me to remove, mm -hmm. I will definitely take care of it. Sometimes it happens, yeah. you know, and I don't want you to be stressed out about that pimple, we'll take care of it. Photoshop is a very advanced form of retouching, uh, but editing, I use Lightroom and other applications that help me um, reduce redness, even out skin tones, make sky sometimes darker, just basic adjustments that do not require of very, very advanced degrees. Yeah, it just enhances, enhances the photo exactly. a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. So let's talk about, we had talked about it briefly before, the prep for the day. Uh, and this comes full circle to time management, right? Right. What should wedding couples, uh, what info should they be giving you? Mm -hmm. Well, the wedding day timeline is super important. I need to know at what time you want me to start your photo session. Mm -hmm. I need to know how many guests you're expecting, how many uh, people are on your family photo session list, because I need to know how much time we will need for that family photo session segment. And I know this as a hair and makeup artist and being in the wedding street, we always allot a little bit more time. Right. Because there is, you know, who knows, there is something that may happen that may put you a little bit behind, so it, you gotta allow a little bit more time to keep you on time. Absolutely, right? that's why it's very important for me to have your wedding day timeline and then make it even more specific, for specific right? Yeah. A, each block, um, I write down pretty much every half an hour what's, what hap what's happening every half an hour of your wedding day and it's just for my crew, for myself and my crew, just to make sure that we have everything covered and we have some room to wiggle if something yeah. you know, this doesn't is, go perfectly. Yeah, and this is also the time for um, family etiquette right to let your photographer know if there are divorced parents absolutely if there are friends who don't get along so that uh this again with the smooth flow of the day absolutely uh, you know you're not putting a bad situation together in a photo absolutely and it's also very important to think about your elderly um family members because we would prefer to take pictures of them first just to make sure that we're not stressing them out too much or mm, kids yeah. um, I like to structure my family photo sessions in the way that most vulnerable people are taken care of first and then um, and then we, we photograph everybody else yeah and I also think it's really important I at this point to let your photographer do their job We've talked about this before with other vendors. It's important not to micromanage your photographer. Um, I know I've had a couple other photographer colleagues who have had wedding couples who, you know, to the T and to the minute, want to micromanage what happens. But that's really, again, taking the art and why you're hiring this person right, absolutely. out. Um, you got to trust your photographer that they know how to manage this timeline and it's, it's going to go smoothly and it's going to work, right? Absolutely. I say if you have any questions, concerns, or preferences, please share with your photographer before your wedding day just to make sure yeah. that they have all the information necessary to make the right decisions at the right moment. But on the day of, I don't think it's a, the best idea to actually interfere with the, the flow yeah. of and yeah, uh, yeah. In flow of the day. Of and the just day. trust your photographer to right, do absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, I'm sure you've had clients who are like, no, I want it this way. And you're like, from experience, I know that that's not gonna work, am I right? Well, it makes my life a little bit harder because I will have to do it your way and then do it my way anyway. I will try to accommodate as many requests as possible, but it will be extremely stressful. But as of the you know, <laughs> mechanics of the day, trust your photographer. Absolutely, um, trust your vendors in general. If yeah. you don't trust them, then don't hire them yeah. for your wedding. <laughs> your wedding day is so important. Point it's of one, the and, day. one and only, and you know, it's such an important day of your life. So choose wisely and do as much research as possible before the day. Yeah, and then let us work our magic. Exactly, because <laughs> we do it every weekend. Yep, every weekend. <laughs> so that's yeah. what we do. So they have hired you and you guys have made the schedule and then you go out and work your magic. You're gonna trust your photographer on everything that happens. And really the goal is just to enjoy your day, right? Absolutely. Enjoy your wedding day. You know, that seems to be a common theme with a lot of the vendors we've been interviewing um, and on personal levels. It's like, we just want you to be happy and enjoy your day. Right, so let, exactly. We'll do the rest. Or yes. you, whatever that's saying. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll do the rest. That's why we are called wedding professionals for a very good reason. Yeah, yeah <laughs> That's exactly. what we do. 
Great, well, this has been super informative. I, I really hope this has been informative for you. If you have any questions, please hit us up. Uh, we would be happy to answer any questions about anything, specifically photography or any other vendors. Um, we have access to a wide range uh, of vendors. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. I yes. know you want to support. Click that link below. Please. Yeah. <laughs> we would love any, any support and any love you got. Um, and we will see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys.